Hello and welcome to this uh, recording on uh, suction pumps flow simulation. Uh, as mentioned in the blog, uh, this is the setup. This is the setup wherein uh, rather this is the design, uh, simplified design, which is more for flow simulation. So typically the design happens as per the requirement of the designer and thereon there could be certain things in the setup which are not necessary for flow simulation. So you can just get rid of them. You can keep them, but unnecessarily the flow simulation time would go up. So I would I would suggest getting rid of them and simplifying the model as per the requirements of flow simulation. So if I had to show you a few important things, this is how the impeller looks somewhere in there, the blue color component part. And there is a dummy part inside the impeller. So if I have to hide, the impeller here, uh, the dummy part looks something like this, the gray part. Definitely it is uh, including a bit of the, if I had to say the funnel or the inlet condition, I'll show you how it is handled. But there is a simple cylindrical part which is acting as the fluid which is actually rotating and that is used for applying boundary conditions, the, the rotational velocity and including the mesh quality as well. So this is this is the setup. More this moreover, this is the geometry which is created uh, for flow simulation. There on once that is created, um, I have the setup. You can act, ensure you activate flow simulation. You can go to flow simulation down here, and there is a wizard. So this wizard can help you set up the global level parameters required for the simulation. So you give the particular name, set up the configuration. Uh, set up the units you can the, tell it that it is a rotation or the rotating region is present in this particular setup you can do that and give the kind of rotating regions by the way from 2016 version we have two different kind of rotating regions uh, to simulate rotating regions in this case I'm using averaging whereas we also have this sliding option I'm not uh, discussing it in detail but typically if you actually want to see the rotation of the blades and more further details you can use this sliding option there on I select the gas which is present in this case it is air uh, other global parameters and finish it so that would create the global level settings required for creating this particular setup uh, in terms of boundary conditions, um, yeah, I missed out on saying. So apart from having the dummy component, we are also having a inlet lid and an outlet lid down here. These two will help in uh, applying the boundary conditions as well as creating a closed domain required for flow simulation. So I have the inlet pressure, I have the outlet pressure and yes that is it so let me show you so as i mentioned we are applying simple static environmental pressures at the inlet and as well as the outlet surface they're on the real wall um, <coughs> so certain as i mentioned certain parts of that funnel which was of yellow color are actually uh, penetrating the rotating region However, we know this funnel is not rotating, so we can we can set up and select those those parts and tell the software that they are not rotating. It is done through this particular option of stator. You can go to stator, you can select those particular entities and tell that it is a stator or in short, it is not rotating. On the other hand, if, if I had to open the impeller, if I had to open the impeller down here, you can see uh, the surfaces down here inside surfaces these are actually within the rotating region however uh, the effect is taken more from these particular blades so we want to ensure the um, the rotate rotational surfaces are also taken into consideration and for that we can specify a real wall condition on those particular um, those particular surfaces so i select all the surfaces say it is a real wall and give it a mm, uh, rotational or angular velocity now the most important thing the dummy component i select the dummy component as well give it a rotational uh, speed uh, typically you will see an arrow down here which is following the right hand thumb rule we can use that particular method to in, to include and uh, 
uh, give the effect of rotation so we 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 give that particular value down here so rot we give the global parameters we give the rotating region inlet outlet pressures are static certain walls which may be rotating inside the domain um, however they are flat have been given a real wall rotational degree of freedom or the rotational speeds and finally status there could be certain walls which are within the rotating region but they do not move so those can be given as a stator option so this is the basic setup and uh, let's move on to a few other details one of them could be the goals typically in flow simulation uh, most of the parameters are converged on its own based on the internal uh, internal uh, values given by the conversion tolerances given by the software however if there could be certain parameters which we want to control visualize measure and see as well as we want to ensure they are they are converged up to a certain level so all those parameters we can uh, set it down here and uh, control them so let me check out so one is the in this case we are taking the outlet pressure we want to ensure it is converged well we uh, in terms of average same with the inlet interesting thing could be torque i want to find out the torque that is subjected on this impeller blade uh, for that as well i can select um, these appropriate surfaces appropriate surfaces and uh, select a particular axis in this case torque x direction i'm taking and and that will that will calculate the torque uh, from the software we also have volume flow rate we have a certain volume flow rate um, which needs to be measured uh, rather that could be one of the important quantities from this particular setup so we find volume flow rate and suction pressure which could be highly important for us this would be for the given setup so we we try to design such that we optimize or increase these these values mass flow rates pressure difference now this is another option wherein we can actually give an equation in this case we know the outlet pressure we know the inlet pressures uh, we can find out the pressure head that is created in by this particular pump and finally we can find the efficiency so typically again i can give an another equation Uh, you can see a particular variable is missing here this is nothing but the rotational speed in this equation so i can select it double click it comes down here okay so this is the way i create equations using goals so there are certain parameters which are calculated by default if i want to go in for the next step then we can use these equations to calculate finally mesh as i told you mesh is equally important and uh, we need to ensure we have the right quality of mesh in this case uh, we have the impeller dummy component or the dummy component used for creating the rotational effect so that component can be um, can be given a certain angular velocity and can be simulated uh, so uh, which rather sorry my sentence was incorrect if i put it this way this particular component which is used for giving angular velocity we need to ensure the quality of mesh is good so we can use this particular local mesh setting to create that quality of mesh <coughs> uh, you can play around with these settings to create the right right configuration so this is what it is this is the way i would say the setup is created uh, the or this is one of the most basic ways you can refine it in further ways in terms of more goals um, more ensuring that the right walls are taken into consideration etc okay uh, next is in terms of plot so there are many things but as i said two things which i would like to highlight first one of them is the volume flow rate right the volume flow rate so we already have a goal so i can either uh, use it that is maybe the i can find out the volume flow rate and uh, the inlet pressure suction pressure so one option could be if you have created a goal you can directly select it from the goal and we can see the final converged values of volume flow rate and inlet pressure or suction pressure as well you can see it from other things like you can have a cut plot at different locations right the cut plots can be created at different locations and you can visualize it it could be velocity plots as well you can uh, see it at different locations um, 
surface plot could be relevant so you can see here this is one of the locations where it is so one of the most important things you can see the velocity even though it is a small variation 20 to 21 it does vary across a cross section so if any kind of comparison is made between the practical results and the results coming from the software we need to ensure that the location where the measurement is done is correct so in this case you can see at the middle uh, the velocity is more whereas as it goes out the velocity is reducing to almost 20 uh, so ensure that the comparison or the measurements where are they are done in the practical conditions are known and then only the comparison is done with the software so either we can do this plot the velocity use the surface areas to find the volume flow rate or other way around we can actually directly calculate the volume flow rates from the goals or even from the surface parameters we can create a new surface parameter and just find out the volume flow rate so there are many different post processing options down here using which you can uh, you can find out the relevant parameters finally one of the most basic and interesting quantities which uh, one wants to see that is how does the liquid flow inside the system just for visualization you can do that uh, you can see a flow trajectory kind of thing which will help you visualize how the liquid moves inside the system and gets out of it so this is it and what else i can highlight yep that's it that's it for this video hopefully useful um, any questions feel free to reach me i'll try my best to uh, assist you. Thank you.